What's up everybody, King of Fumble here coming at you with your daily crypto update. Today we're going to be talking about Arc5 going deeper into Arc5, doing about a one ETH purchase or a two brand purchase into here today live in this video. Uh, every time I look at Arc5, every video I make, you guys might have noticed that I've really been dipping my toe in the water when it comes to these type of platforms. Um, I didn't really want to go in heavy and deep in the beginning. I wanted to sort of see how it worked because I've been burned by a few of these things in the past and uh, it's not it's not a good feeling to be burned. It's also not a good feeling to talk about uh, a project and have other people get burned uh, because they learned about it from me. But Every time I look at Arc5 more and more, this seems like a project that is going to stick around for a lot longer than those projects that I've been in in the past that have been burned. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics on what I've been doing, how I've been doing in this platform so far, and we'll look at some more detailed uh, statistics about Arc5 in general that I've sort of have picked up as well. This is a complicated platform. This is another reason why I've been dipping my toe in the water. So uh, there's a lot of different strategies that you can come up with this um, so we're gonna really try to look at a, a lot of them right here so first of all looking at the arc price still at five dollars and 71 cents now i was corrected in my last video this price is actually pegged to five dollars and 71 cents due to the fact that they have these things called these ilc reserves now what what that means is um, these ilc reserves the 421,000 busd dollars is going to continuously buy the token to make sure that it's staying at five hundred and five dollars and 71 cents uh, until those ilc reserves run out then that's when the price of the token can Quite kind of fluctuate and please excuse my snoring dog in the background i don't think he's gonna stop he's very tired <laughs> but moving on from that um liquidity we can take a look at liquidity and uh, what I'm actually going to do here, guys, I'm going to compare um, all of these numbers that we're seeing on the screen right here to my video that I made last week. So last week, uh, we had a video right here. It's talking about liquidity of the um, ARC5 token. It was sitting at $896, $896,000 a week ago, currently at $912. So it's nice to, to see that that liquidity continues to go up. We like to see larger and larger liquidity in this system overall. Um, so that's the, the main number. The ILC numbers did go down a little bit, uh, but it's nothing to be concerned about right now. 421,000 is where it is at right now. And last week it was at 478,000. And I do believe that number does fluctuate. Uh, you know, some plans and some change, changing up of what you want to do might happen if that number gets pretty low. Uh, so do keep that in mind. All right, so moving on to the next screen right here, my personal vault right here. So you can see that I have, I'm gonna put this in USD this time because USD is a little bit more easier to understand for people. Uh, my compound withdrawal ratio is currently at 2.448, almost 2.5, because I've pre I pretty much did the set it and forget it method, which um, you know I mentioned that in my last video. So my daily rewards are approximately 2% daily, which is really, really nice. Um, and we're, we're going to see here that my principal balance was about $831.04, and that means I'm getting paid out 2% um, of that on a daily basis. So whatever that is, uh, you know, about, what is that, 2% of 1,000 would be like 20 dollars a day so a little less than twenty dollars a day is what i'm getting out of my daily rewards pretty nice stuff right there and you can see that paid out 531 dollars that's including compounds and withdrawals and i've withdrawn a total of 135 dollars from this thing not too shabby um, so in my last video i said i had reached 50 percent roi and that is true i think a uh, part of that roi has to do with uh, referral rewards as well so that's why um, it doesn't really match up right here but nonetheless, it's doing really, really well. I've been in here for almost two months and 2% daily for that amount of time is going to be over 50%. Um, you know, after what, 30 days, uh, you're looking at more than 50%. So really good stuff right there. Moving on to the next screen, we can talk about, actually, we got to compare. Uh, I'm not really going to do too many comparisons with this one right here due to the fact that um, my numbers here are in ARC, so uh, you know those, I'm, I want to try and do comparisons to the USD from here on out. So in my next video, I'll do a look back to this one and look at the USD numbers um, as far as what has been paid out, what has been withdrawn. Those are the most important numbers right there. And my deposited amount is 500 of BUSD. All right, so continuing on from there, let's go ahead and look at the next statistics right here. So this is the legacy NFT statistics. So this is um, something that's really, really interesting to get into, especially if you're looking to kind of go deep into this, if you're looking to build a team, these NFTs are very, very helpful. And even if you're not looking to build a team, you just wanna be part of the DAO and learn more about what um, what is up and coming with arc -Fi. these NFTs get you access to that um, DAO, the, the secret telegram and all that stuff. Uh, so 
Uh, they cost a thousand dollars and they do like <laughs> they for me it's working out really really nicely um, so i've been claiming these rewards this is since my last claim i've made 44 dollars, so that is really really good again uh, it kind of pays for itself with with the rewards that get paid out to it as people continue to purchase arcfi uh, look into this a little bit more about how it works i'm not going to go into the details of how arcfi works in this video you guys can watch my other videos to really understand uh, the details of that but um you know the better nft you get the more <laughs> nft rewards you can get from this and they do pay for themselves and eventually these nfts will be able to be for sale and i think that um you know if this project does become more and more popular and these nfts do sell out then they can definitely sell at a higher price than what we're looking at right here so if you're purchasing this for a thousand dollars you really really believe in arcfi arcfi does extremely well over you know the next six months to a year they sell sell out and then you're looking at an NFT that not only is minting you daily rewards but it's also getting you um it's also appreciating a price uh, potentially so that's the nice thing about those legacy NFTs now looking at a week ago a week ago there was only 411 NFTs um purchased now a week later we have 431 so that number is going up and these are good numbers to look at guys like you you really do want to pay attention and, and keep a record for yourself of how the platform is doing you know is do you see growth or do you see um you know anti-growth <laughs> and you see shrinkage uh from the platform and uh, so far, we're seeing a lot of growth from a lot of areas. The only shrinkage number that we saw was this ILC reserves, which means that there are people selling some of the ArcFi tokens. Uh, but overall, you have growth. You have growth in the liquidity, you have growth in the number of holders, growth in the number of um, people who are having NFTs. And that's what I really pay attention to, 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 to decide for myself, do I want to go deeper into here? Of course, you guys have to make up your own mind as far as how deep you want to go into any platform project or coin. Uh, but you know, I'm liking what I see in ArcFi in general, and I think um, some of the people, some, like the community, has reached out to me. Um, I'm, <laughs> I don't want you guys to think that I'm completely ignoring you. I, I do know that uh, people have reached out to me to do interviews or whatever, or, or to talk to people that are in in the project. Uh, but again, this goes back to what I said in the beginning of the video. I did want to sort of dip my toe in the water before I went gung ho with community interviews and things like that. So uh, you know, over the next couple of weeks, as I get more and more comfortable with ArcFi, and as I um, you know, get involved with the community myself. I'll consider doing uh, more of this stuff with the community. All right, so that is that about wraps it up for uh, my ArcFi review. Now, let's. I'm gonna see if I can do this live on camera. If I can't do this, I'll just do this off camera. I'm not really too concerned about doing things super live. But I'm gonna do a purchase uh, with BNB. Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I forget how much BNB I purchased earlier. Let's see how much I have in the wallet, and then we'll just go ahead and do a quick buy right here so i have about 6.9 bnb let's do about 5.8 5 5.8 5 um 5.8 bnb is what i'll purchase uh, and then i'll get 284 arc from that right and um we'll go ahead and do a buy right there and then this should go to my vault which means that again i'm going to be getting close to two percent daily on the amount that i have in total altogether here so we'll go ahead and confirm that for a buy and we'll see if that uh gets go ahead and right on over to the vault after that gets confirmed but yeah overall as we're going to talk about this another uh, good statistic website that i just recently learned about um with arcfi is okay so that did go through my bnb balance is down my arc balance is the same because my vault balance should have went up let's go ahead and check that right so um see my deposited amount i think my deposited amount is supposed to yeah so here it is my deposited amount did indeed go up my ndb up quite a bit and a deposited amount up quite a bit as well and um my cwr is this probably is going to decrease over the next couple of days i think that's how it's going to work since i've uh, added more into here but it'll equalize to about you know 2.50 again eventually um, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about the last sort of thing in this video. This is Dune. Uh, Dune is a good analytical website for everything crypto. Uh, so this is another really good website for you to kind of take a screenshot of, take a picture of, or a video of, and refer back to it in you know, a week or so to see how the platform is doing. Uh, you know, right now, let me see if I can do a quick comparison of where I am. If I look at my ArcFi, so right now I have 372 
0.24 arc five deposited into the vault. So where does that put me in terms of holders? So in the 300s, this is where actually most people are. Most people are in the 100, 200 range, 200, 300 range. Altogether, we have about 597 people, a lot of people in this range right here. Uh, so if you want to be a top holder in ARC5, you're going to need, if you want to really go gung-ho deep, you're going to be, have to be a, a holder of 1,000 or more. We'll see if I get there, if I get comfortable enough to want to get that deep into ARC5. Uh, it might actually happen sooner than you think. But there's a lot of other statistics on here, too, that you guys can take a look at to see what the whales are doing to see kind of what the buy and sell volume is looking like. So I am going to be personally breaking down this on my own time to really understand what each of these charts means and really be able to follow if the, if it's doing well or not based on looking at these charts in Dune. So I'll leave a link in the description to this as well as a link in the description to ArcFi if you guys are interested in jumping in on this. Now this was very statistical analytical video for those of you who uh, don't really know too much about this platform uh, check out my previous videos about it you know i sort of learn about it with you right i, I, when I as i started making these videos about arcvi i didn't really know that much about it and you know i explain it uh, in layman's terms in the way that you kind of understand it if this is your first time looking at it so i highly recommend that you guys go back look at my videos uh, my first couple videos about arcvi over the past sort of month and a half here and uh, you know, come up with your own experience. See, see how you guys are doing. And um, hopefully, as time goes on, um, I'll be doing more videos about ArcFi. And <laughs> hopefully, I'll get uh, more organized with my videos as well. A lot of times, I do rambling. Uh, you know, as I stumble around and try and figure out, you know, what the best way to explain this stuff is. So it'll get better, I promise. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're not a member of my Patreon channel, please consider becoming a Patreon if you want to support me making more of these types of videos. You get access to all of my videos earlier than everyone else here on YouTube, as well as hopefully soon a community will have a Discord. Well, I do have a Discord and a Telegram, but I'm going to be hopefully running that again uh, this coming June-ish area mid-June. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.